Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolt. And Super Bowl 54 is in the 55. Sorry, Super Bowl 55 is in the books. Super Bowl 54 was last year. It's also in the books. But anyway, Super Bowl 55 is in the books, and it was a stinker. It was a blowout by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers blowing out the Kansas City Chiefs by the score of 31 to 9. That's what you got right there. That's the Buccaneers taking it down. So yeah, the Buccaneers took care of business. Wasn't a very interesting game uh, past like really halftime, I would say. But definitely you can tell after the first possessions by each team. But we will uh, we'll talk about it. So as I said, Super Bowl 55 is in the books. It was a blowout win by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers by the score of 31 to 9. Kansas City scored first, went up 3-0. But after that, it was pretty much downhill for Kansas City. Uh, on each team's first possession of the game, can't, well, Kansas City won the uh, toss at the beginning of the game, and they elected to defer to the second half, so Tampa Bay got the ball first, and they went out on a three and out on their first possession. Kansas City then got the ball, and they also did not score. However, they did get a first down when Mahomes ran for seven yards on a third and seven. But that was it. They only got the one first down. Um, the Bucks failed to score on a fourth and goal from the one or two yard line uh, early in the uh, second quarter when they were up seven to three. So at the time you were thinking, all right, well, maybe that's gonna be an issue, but um, it, it apparently went on to be not an issue. Um, and with 6.15 left in the half, Kansas City was off sides on a field goal attempt, which gave Tampa Bay a first down and led to a touchdown instead of a field goal. And then uh, key pass interference penalties by Kansas City on Tampa Bay's final first half possession resulted in a Tampa Bay touchdown uh, put them up 21-6 at the half. It was kind of reminiscent of when Tampa Bay uh, scored the touchdown going into the half when they played Green Bay. So Kansas City managed only a field goal on their opening possession of the second half, and then Tampa Bay got the ball and they scored a touchdown. So that made the score 28-9 early in the third, and... Uh, of course, the scoring stopped for Kansas City right there. And, um, and really, well, really the uh, Buccaneers only got another field goal, but that's really all they needed, too. So, um, Brady in the game was uh, 21 of 29 for 201 yards and three touchdowns. And in stark contrast to Brady, Mahomes was 26 of 49 for 270 yards and two interceptions. So, um, uh, Brady's seventh Super Bowl victory. That's crazy. He's been to 10. He's won 70% of them. And seven, which I don't think is ever going to be matched. It's probably never, ever going to be matched. And if it ever is, probably will be matched by the guy that was right across the field from him, and that's Mahomes. But that's a tall order even for Mahomes. Mahomes is very good. He was injured, though, today. He was hobbled a little bit by, uh, you know, a bad toe. Um, he had a lot of rest, you know, because there was a week off between the championship games and the, and the Super Bowl. So he probably came into the game feeling pretty good. But as the game went on, I think the toe started to really bother him. And, it, I mean, it looked like he did. He, you could see him um, limping at times. Uh, the game was also marred by, it, it seemed like the referees were really picking on Kansas City. I, I mean, they were calling everything on Kansas City. And there were some things that were, 
there were some penalties called on Kansas City that technically were penalties, but um, I, you know, I don't know. I mean, I think in the Super Bowl you let them go, and you, you have to wonder. They called those on Kansas City. So are you saying that Tampa Bay didn't do anything like that? Or you just didn't happen to see it for Tampa Bay? But you did every time Kansas City did it? So I thought they were a little, I think they went a little overboard with the penalties. In some cases. Some of them were justified. Obviously some of them were justified. And really there was a... I mean, at this point, the game was already lost, but there was a um, uh, there was a, a hit on Mahomes near the end. They did call a roughing the penalty or roughing the quarterback penalty on one hit on Mahomes, but there was one shortly after that that I thought also probably could have been uh, roughing the passer that they didn't call, and that's what I'm talking about. I mean, if you could call that. Um, you know, if you could pass on calling that gray area roughing the passer, but then you definitely, every time Kansas City had some kind of, you know, gray area holding or, you know, pass interference, because there was a couple that were just, you know, the guy really probably should not have been called. But, but technically they were. But, you know, it's a Super Bowl. You let them play. So I don't know. But I don't know that even if the referees had let them play, that Kansas City could have won this game. I mean, it was just, it was total domination. The Buccaneers had their number pretty much right from the get-go. So uh, it was a, uh, yeah, it's just one of those ones you're going to put in the books that's uh, not going to go down as one of the better Super Bowls. Uh, we'll see, though. You know, Kansas City's got a good young team. They've got Mahomes locked up. He's going to be on the team for years and years to come. So uh, we'll see. I mean, you know, I think, you know, and you hate to say this because they used to say this about the Dolphins and Dan Marino, but I really think Kansas City's going to be back. They're going to have other trips to the Super Bowl and other chances to win other Super Bowls. I think, obviously. We'll see what happens on the other side with Tampa Bay. You know, I mean, um, Brady is getting older. He could retire at any time. I'm sure he probably plans on playing next year, but we'll see what happens with that. Um, he is getting older, so we shall see. But, yes, this one was not a good one. Uh, what did you guys think? Um, did you watch all the way through the whole, you know, the entire Super Bowl? I mean, I did. Um, but, uh, yeah, what did you think of it? You think Mahomes has some other chances later down the road for him? Um, do you think Brady's going to retire? Let's have a, you know, let's talk about that possibility. Um, I haven't heard that he will. As far as I know, he'll be back, but you never know. Um, and, uh, yeah. So let me know what your thoughts are. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Leave a comment below. And uh, hey, if you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel. You know, you came by, you watched the video. Maybe you liked it. Maybe you liked it a little bit. Look around, see what's on my channel. I mean, basically, if you love sports, my channel is like, you know, you're like a kid in a candy store. So anyway... Uh, that's all I got to say right now uh, about the Super Bowl and uh, big win for uh, con and congratulations to Tampa Bay and all of Tampa Bay's fans on their big 31-9 uh, butt whooping of Kansas City and we'll see if Kansas City is back again next year and we'll see really if Tampa Bay can return next year. But for right now, that's it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.